Hello everyone, it's Kei. Um, I hope you're having a great day today. So this is a part two of a process matter series. Um, I hope you liked yesterday's live or sorry video. I keep saying live because <laughs> I do the live every day. But now this is a recorded video. So I hope you liked yesterday's video as part one about the reasons, looking for the reasons of win and lose or break even. So today, I would like to elaborate uh, this topic for about the losses because the losses are very important to, uh, to understand it correctly. Otherwise, you get keep upsetting and you keep frustrating and also you keep uh, having fear towards the market for these losses. So let's uh, talk about it right now. I would like to introduce one of the Japanese proverbs from one of this uh, greatest, uh, one of this greatest swordsmen in Japan, back in the Edo period. So um, yeah, I hope you liked today's video too. So yeah, uh, basically, as a disclaimer, this knowledge is based on my experience. So when you take trades, please, please do with your own risk. So today's proverb that I would like to introduce is this. It's uh, there are no reasons for wins, but there are reasons for losses. And this is a saying from this uh, Matsura season. And uh, if you can look up this uh, Wikipedia here, um, he is a um, he was actually born in uh, back in the uh, 1760s in uh, Edo period. And he was the greatest uh, swordman during the Edo period in Japan. And also, he was a practitioner of a school of swordmanship. So basically, he was a master of sword, and he was a, also a, a novelist back in the Edo period. And he actually says this once again. He says. There are no reasons for wins, but there are reasons for losses. So let me break it down and uh, try to uh, understand what it, what he really means about this. So the first line, uh, there are no reasons for wins. So his concept, or this is actually my, co my concept too, but uh, when it comes to win, uh, actually it becomes naturally. Or sometimes uh, without any of my power, sometimes I win. So it's like luck, right? Sometimes we get lucky shot and we win sometimes. And that's something that happens to me too. But uh, when it comes to losses, then there should be some reasons for losses. And this is the main topic for today. So when you lose, that means you have to look for the reasons, especially. So um, yeah, because um, you might regret of the fact that the price went against you and you lose. So the priority is that the uh, to think about these, you know, the reasons is that the uh, first, you, when you lose, you have to really um, shut down the PC for once and uh, you have to leave charge and you like to think about the reasons of why you lost that particular trade. Um, try to come up with reasons, at least three. I like number three, always. So try to come up with the reasons of why you lost the trade, at least three. So if I can give you some real charge examples, maybe um, I will just pick up this uh, Euro USD. And let's go to the daily chart. And uh, oh yeah, looks like the price is now in the Kumo. And tomorrow, it's going to be at this uh, forecast uh, end of the forecast uh, forecast line stay. But um, yeah, so uh, let's say um, yeah, let's say let me just go back because this is ranging, so it's not the perfect timing to give you the chart example. So let's say. If you look at the chart like this, and you see that the Kumo is moving up, I mean a single span B flat, but A is up, A is up this way, 
and Kijun Sen is up also. So in this case, you look at the lower time frames and look for the buy chance. I would, because this is uptrend in definition. And also, I expect the price will be supported by this Kijun Sen and continue to go up this way. As long as Senko Span B up and Kijun Sen is flat. Uh, Chikou Span is getting very close to the candles, so when it really touches on these candles, then this is going to be a rangy market. But let's say uh, you look at the lower time frames and you confirm the buy chance. So let's say you take a buy here. Let's say you take a buy here. And uh, let's see what happens next day. So when you take a buy here, um, if I start st talk about this stop loss, that should be slightly below the recent low. So in this case, most likely it's going to be at this level. If the price breaks this stop loss level, then it should break the Kijun Sen downwards too. So this is going to be nice timing to exit anyways. But let's take let's say that you take a buy here and let's look at the next candlestick. On the next candlestick in one uppers, so you won some profit. So moving on to the next one. Okay, now it continue to go up. So if you take a buy here, then you already make some profit over here. I think you're running, let me, let me measure it here. You're running about uh, 100, yeah, 106 profit here already. So uh, let me continue to run it a bit more. So you keep holding this buy, and by now, I think the stop loss should be break even. The stop loss should be break even. So that you will be playing this uh, break even win game already. And also, uh, you see the Senko Span is still up and Kijun Sen is still up. So there's no reason for exit yet. So, yeah, let's just keep holding this buy and just move one by one. So, okay, there's a pin bar. There's a, not a pin bar, but there is a weak point in uppers on this recent candlestick. However, we start to see Senko Span B is also up. B is up and A is up and Kijun Sen is up. So uh, we can expect that the price continue to go up this way. So that on the next day, it goes backwards, uh, retraces backwards. So you took a buy here and in this case, I think uh, you're going to end up with a break even already. The price went all the way down and this is going to be break even and you exit here. And when you look at these lines, hold on, uh, there's a Kumo here. Technically this, um, if you can see this uh, zoom in, um, single span A is flat, B is, looks like B is technically up, but Kijun Sen is completely flat. So A flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is a nice timing for exit anyways. But when you exit like this, how do you feel? Like uh, you were running some profit already, all the way up, like 100, 106 profit, and the price went all the way down, and you get break even. Right, you get break even. Um, uh, realistically speaking, um, I think uh, you should be exit when you see this, um, when you see the weak point in uppers, or when the price should to go backwards, you can uh, you can take profit. Uh, at some point, but let's say you are away from the chart on the next day and when you wake up or when you look back the chart, when you come back to this chart, uh, you find the price going down and you, you exit with a stop loss. Then how would you feel is a question. You might feel regret because if you were able to take some profit here, then you will actually you know, secure some profit. But because the price went all the way down and get this break even line, then basically you might feel that you are you lost the trade, as if you lost the trade. Technically, you were not losing, you were just break even, but you might feel 
this this sense of loss even if you even if the price even if the, this trade ended with a break even so that's why you know this uh, looking for the reasons to, for losses is very important um, you know we can be optimistic for wins because when we win we're happy and we are here to make some profit and when we win basically uh, you know we just try the profit but once the price uh, retraces backwards and especially when the price hits its break even or even the stop loss then that's when you really have to look back at trace and examine why it happened um, yeah because um, like I said before when you win uh, you get happy you become happy and you become optimistic so you don't think so much about uh, you know these uh, winning trades even if you exit um, even if you exit at this point when you see this pin bar and when you exit here let's say so this was a buy and let's say you exit here and then you get these pips over here and you might be satisfied already you might be satisfied and you will just look for another trace another pairs and look for another trade and trading edges and in this case you won't think so much about this winning trade you just uh, you know let let the price you know make profit let the market make profit and you just keep going and actually that's a problem but um today i wanted to talk about the losses so let's say the price goes down uh you didn't put this um oops hold on well let's see all right there's something wrong here all right so sorry about that so when you take a buy here and even if the price goes backwards and even the price hit this break even in this case you need to think think about the reasons why it went backwards because uh, when the price hit this break even especially when the price goes all the way down and hit the stop loss let's say you didn't move the stop loss break even and let's say the price hit the stop loss then you really need to look back that particular trace and um, yeah you we need to find a pattern of your losing trace um, and that's why it is important to take journals every time you take trace I recommend uh, you or any uh, GTS members uh, I require them to take trading journals every time they trace they take trace every time they take a position and every time they exit I ask them to take screenshot and write their emotion at the entry exit and also what they learned um, I make sure to include these sentences uh, along with this uh, screenshots so that when they look back um, they can find a pattern of this losing trace so maybe uh, out of uh, 10 losing trades in the past uh, out of 10 maybe 5 or 6 losing trades were actually on this euro usd maybe you find that pattern then you look at look, look back these trades you look back these charts by yourself and examine why you lost these six trades out of 10 on this euro usd and you might find a pattern that the uh, every time you lost for example there was a big news and the, there was a big you know spike in up and down and it actually it wiped off off of this uh, position that might be one of the cases or um, out of uh, 10 trades in the past or 10 trades 10 losing trades uh, in the past you might find euro pairs euro G usd euro gbp euro jpy to be losing trades like a six losing trades out of 10 or on these euro pairs you found for example and then 
maybe there might there might be something about the euro maybe uh, there was no trends in euro and that's why you are trading in the range market and that that may be the reason why you lost it or once again there might be a big euro news and that caused these losses six times out of ten is a lot so you need a special care about these losing trades but the point is that the um, you know try to look for the patterns of your losing trades or your break-even trades or even the winning trades and I try to look for the reasons why this happens so that you can always improve your trades to the next level so when these losses were caused by this euro news then the lesson would be right do not take trades when there's a big news in euro because most likely uh, when there's a, like an interest rate or any like a uh, you know cpi or any reports in euro that that is considered to be impacting then uh the market will spike up and down and you you might end up with losses or break evens so yeah this is just one of the examples but um you know if you start to look back your trace especially the losing trace you might find a pattern and then eventually you can avoid this fear of losing in the market so that's why coming back to this um proverb i thought i thought it's profound because um you know we tend to focus only on the winning trades. I see lots and lots of videos that talks about like, okay, I won like uh, 600 pips in one month or like uh, so, so, so much of money in a day. I've seen this, you know, almost like a, you know, like a, I don't know, like a YouTuber type of uh, videos all around in YouTube. And, um, but it's kind of hard, right? Uh, it's hardly to uh, to see these losing trades or sometimes you know, I'm not smart, but I, I don't really see these videos where you know somebody talk about these losing trades and somebody were explaining like why they lost these trades and that's because primarily our focus is on these profits or these winning trades uh, we tend to focus on how to win the market, how to make profit, and how to, you know, win over time. And it's okay. Um, I think it's okay to have that mindset because it motivates us to keep on trading. But on the other hand, at some point, we need to start to focus on this losing trades. And because if you cannot come up with these reasons for this loss, losing trades, then you cannot overcome there's a fear towards the losses and you always try to avoid these losses which is impossible the losses do happen but the point is that how to deal with it, these losses that is more important than how to win the market all right so that's it for today's video so this is a part two of this uh, process matter series and let me end this video about um, with uh, with uh, what I will talk about tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be part 3 and this is going to be the end of this uh, whole, whole uh, process matter series so tomorrow I will refer to this proverb it says that impatience will not make things happen. Okay, impatience will not make things happen. So this is another proverb that always in my heart, every time I look at the chart and every time I take trades. So I hope you like you liked today's video, and I hope you like tomorrow's video as well. So I will see you on the next video. Or you can visit me on my second channel while I'm traveling, so that the uh, you can uh, you can see uh, what I'm doing outside of Tokyo. So I hope to see you again, and I hope you're having a great day today. So stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne.